Message from Our Lord Jesus Christ to His Daughter Luz de Maria. March 2009. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Today I am spreading over with blessing, with rejoicing, with generosity, and mercy. As of today I open my mercy in a special way during this season of Lent, a time of mercy for all those who seek out the sacrament of reconciliation. I am giving humanity a great blessing, but I leave you a task, my faithful, evangelize, go and preach my gospel. Evangelize, my children, so that in these days your brothers will be motivated by your testimony to seek me out in the sacrament of reconciliation. Have the security that my love exceeds all human love and my mercy is infinite. I came for the sick, I came to heal, to bring you a coffer to preserve you from harm, the coffer of the Immaculate Heart of my Blessed Mother. Submerge yourselves in it because you are my treasure. I know that you have endured difficult moments, those of which we will not discuss today. What is done is done. You must look to the present and live this moment, in which the fidelity of my own prevails, in which you are obedient and persevering. You need to resurrect spiritually being new creatures. There is fear today because of all that is happening, but you have human fear and I desire a different fear, the fear of losing our fusion. Not a fear of punishment, or what is coming, or of the three days of darkness because if the heart is at peace, the soul is at peace, you will not see darkness, you will see and give the light of my love. Do not be afraid due to what they tell you because in my faithful there will be no despair, no mortification, there will be light, there will be peace and love. You must be conscious of the need to separate yourselves from sin, and you must live in a state of grace. I have called you to change your bad inclinations, but you have not destroyed them yet. And you are repeatedly called by my mother to destroy them for the sake of love, because what you have done until today, is repress the bad inclinations, and the act of repressing distances you from my spirit, because you are not being truthful. You have to remove and annihilate the bad inclinations and destroy them for love's sake, not repress them, because what is repressed, at some point it cannot be contained and comes out, causing more harm than was expected. You can be fearful, yes. But be fearful for the sake of love, not for punishment's sake, because this stops growth. Fear of punishment is a stop in the way. You need to have fear of offending me, but for love, a fear of distancing yourselves from me, of separating yourselves from me. Because there are two loves, mundane love and love for me, and you must choose, you cannot live being lukewarm. I do not enter mundane love and I ask that you love me in all that is created, find the essence of my love in all created and that is how you will truly love me. That which you love on earth more than me, will make your wings heavy, and that will prevent you from ascending, do not cling to the things of the world, but rather ask me for strength to continue because here you are pilgrims, you are passing through. Beloved of mine, seek me with all your heart, meditate on my precepts with hope, seek for me with all your heart, do not consider yourselves to be without blame because you will be fooling yourselves, children, look with eagerness for the gold of my love. The one who finds love, finds treasure. Do not work hard to acquire gifts, strive in love, and the rest will be given unto you. Children, do not gauge time with human measurement, since a minute can be five years and five years can be one day, do not measure the human way because it will seem interminable to you. Abandon yourself, to my mercy, do not cling to today because today will be a memory tomorrow. Yesterday is a memory today, and today will be a memory tomorrow. Who is the eternal present? So live today correctly, act correctly so that what you do today, will be a blessing for tomorrow and the wrong you commit, confess it immediately, do not wait. Seek me out immediately.
Beloved, live each moment with patience because patience carries with it penance and the one who is patient knows how to do penance and the one who knows how to do penance has peace because he or she offers up everything all the good that you do, adds to the treasure each one of you has in my house. Every act of mercy, every act of love, everything is kept in a spiritual bank and you accumulate wealth, you do not see this treasure but no one can take it or steal it from you. I protect you that is why I came first as a humble king, then I demonstrated my majesty on the cross, and the glory of my father at my resurrection, then I will come as judge. First I came to reunite, and later I will come to separate the wheat from the weeds. Children, I desire that you evangelize, by means of the love towards your fellow man, but why do you stop? For lack of humility. For the tree does not grow before taking root, it does not deepen before taking root. Likewise, you have to deepen in our union and be humble before taking root. The times are not easy, but if you have my love before you and fully trust in my mercy, you will have nothing to fear, my spirit will guide you and as faithful children you will remain in the maternal bosom. Remain in my peace. Your Jesus.